It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two AFC East teams about to collide as we join you from Ralph Wilson Stadium. Phil, we've got a couple of the best tight ends in the game on each sideline today, and they could be the difference makers. You know, these tight ends, they can do it all. They're tremendous blockers for the running game. They got the speed to go down the field, and they got the feet, Tim. You know, those quick feet, so even when they run those short routes, if there's man-to-man -man coverage, they're quick enough and shifty enough to still get away from the defender. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Hand off. And a run right up the middle. Darius is there to make the tackle. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. The Dolphins snap it at the 31. Lamar falls out. The defense has the football. And Williams is there to make the stop. That's what you call the take play. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble. Hey, the offense has a chance to do something with this drive. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. <laughs> First down and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gains 17. Well, this is good confidence for the offense, isn't it? To move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20. Let's see if they have a play up their sleeve that can get them in the end zone. The Dolphins with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Manuel from the gun. Got the completion. Picked up a couple that time. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. The Dolphins defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. And Davis is able to knock that pass away for the incompletion. Here's a player who's learned a lot about the linebacking position from all the years that he lined up next to Ray Lewis. Talking about Donnell Ellerby. Uh, he, show, he has shown it on the field so many times, Jim, and he's very athletic, aggressive when it comes to stopping runs, and he has the speed to cover any tight end in the NFL. Third and eight. catch this one as it goes out of bounds nice job of the defense finally getting off the field that's what you want to do just get the situation get the other offense in a third down uh, situation make the play then get off the field good job and he puts it through for three well Jim that field goal puts him in the lead it was a nice drive by the offense and what it does it just gives you confidence you did some positive things on the field and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game will run this one out and they're all over him at the 18 yard line they face first down in the backfield single back set easy catch there no one near him and he's going to be tackled right around the 43 well he had all day long to throw the football that time that's why he had success throwing the football down the field I'll tell you what this defense they need to start blitzing this quarterback Ryan Tannehill will be under center Hartline's tackled down at the 45. 
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Miller's going to take the handoff now. And that's a two-yard gain. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Offense lines up here. Second down and eight. They're going to get him here for a sack. What a good scheme that time by the defense. They confuse the offense. They blitz. They don't know who to pick up. And how about the defender? They must love this. Coming in free and gets a good clean shot on the QB and gets a sack. Sticks to his hands. Games 16. I'm sure the head coach that time was sitting over on the sidelines thinking about his punt team in a third long situation. He didn't expect his offense to pick it up, but they did it. What a job. Give him a lot of credit. Good job. Williams lined up in the slot. The Dolphins take it from the 33. Has the reception all alone, and he's brought to the ground. Well, when you want to spy the quarterback, that's great. You might stop him from running, but look at the open people down the field. Good throw and catch by the quarterback. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Touchdown, Dolphins. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go. If you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that Man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. And the point after is good. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. First down here. Goodwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Trying to beat the play clock. Looking to the right side and throwing. Reaches out and grabs it. Steps out of bounds. Well, that's a good route that time by the wide receiver. They call that a post route. And they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post. Nice throw and catch. First down here after the completion. Easy, easy kill, kill. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Back to the air here on first down. My gosh, you talking about getting overpowered. I guess they were expecting a speed move. The right guard and right tackle are both pulled. They get run over and they give up a sack. The Bills have it at the 29. Going for the home run. Intercepted. The tackle was made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down, offense readying for the snap. They bring in the extra tight end. It's Miller. Middle. Williams is there that time for the tackle. Miller's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game.
That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Ryan Tannehill will take it from the gun. Tannehill connects with Clay. Tackles made. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Setting up screen. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. And he's taken down. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense, they do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Nice piece of running. Rams there to take him down. Play number six coming up on this drive. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim, they're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. First and goal from the four. He'll throw it over the middle. In his hands, complete. Touchdown. Touchdown. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Goodwin's got a chance for a return. The ball is out. Picking up the bubble, and now he's on the move. In on the stop. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes the fumble, and they recover. Real good field position here to start this series. Miller's lined up as the single back. First and ten. And the give to Lamar Miller. And there's only two yards to be found right there. The Bills defense, they got backed up in their own red zone. But you know what? They came through that time. There's a run play. They were waiting for it. And they stopped the offense for a very short game. And he's forced to the ground. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. And he's intercepted. Ball is out. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. First down coming up. They've come out in the dime package. Chandler's met after a gain of three. <laughs> Manuel's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Second down and seven. Airing it out. But it's incomplete. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays. But he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Third and seven following the incompletion. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Manuel's going to take it from the gun. Looking across the middle. And it's incomplete. Just. Can't hold on that time. Well, we look at that drop pass right there. You know, one of the biggest cliches ever in sports. Oh, they're going to go right back to this guy to keep his confidence going. Well, I don't know about that. If you drop a pass, sometimes I might want to try somebody else to see if they 
can catch it when they're open. So if you get open, the quarterback will throw it to you. The offense is going to stay on the field now for this fourth and seven. The defense comes out of the dime. They better hurry to get the snap. Gets away from the pressure. It's wide open. That brings the play to an end. This is what they call managing the game. The head coach decides to go for it on fourth down, and you just got to expect either way that you're going to make it or if you don't make it what are you going to do great starting position here for the offense miller's out in the slot from the gun Tannehill. ball comes out oh they cough up the football and the defense takes possession you got to protect the football on the offensive side when you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run you're going to get in trouble and that time it results in a fumble the Bills getting set now for their next series. Manuel's lining up in the pistol. The Bills have it at the 44. And that's Grimes in on the stop. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Manuel's setting up now in the pistol. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. And this is dropped. It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When you're not on it, that's when you drop it, and that's what happened that time. It's third down coming up. Wide receivers are bunched up. And he hauls it in. Finnegan's in on the tackle. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Bills in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. C.J. Spiller. Finnegan's in on the tackle. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Throws to the right. With two hands, he has it. Touchdown. Close the gap. Now that was a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you have done, you've closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight, you got a better chance. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Big Pen will run this one out through contact and Lawson's there to make the tackle they come to the line and it's first down He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Makes the reception. Miller's able to move the chains with that carry. Offense lines up here. They're going back up top. The defense gets the sack. Well, that was an aggressive play by the defense. That's risk-reward. The, the reward, of course, is sacking the quarterback like they did. Well, the risk is if you don't get there, you could give up a big play. Lamar Miller with the carry, and he'll try it left. Miller's a running back after he makes a big run like this. He gets excited, and he is just looking for his next carry. On the way, third down. And we've reached the two-minute warning.
third down. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. Third down now. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Flip to the outside. A tackle behind the line. Well, that's how the offensive line just got over time. The allowed penetration. When you do that, nowhere for the running back to go. What a good job for the defensive line. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. Quick drop back. Miller's got it. First down. The Bills' defense has to be demoralized by that fourth down conversion allowed. I think any time on the defensive side when you give up a fourth down conversion, it is heartbreaking, and it has to be heartbreaking for the defense right now. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Keeps it on the play fake. The defense gets a sack. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback but try to protect yourself because you're going down. The Dolphins from the 32. Tannehill's going to take off with it. And gains maybe four. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game and it's third and long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. The Dolphins snap it at the 36. It's Clay. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. It's first down as they head to the line. Quickly to the line. And now the spike. Second down here. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Dropping back three. And intercepted! Nice tackle. Nice job of the defense at time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down here. Quarters formation here for the defense. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Rhymes with the coverage and the swat on that play. Boy, it must be hard just to knock the football down. That time he's in good position because you know the defender wanted to go for the interception, but he played it smart and knocked it down instead. Corners formation here for the defense. Second and ten. Down the field. He brings it in. That does it for the first half. Bills trail in this one. Back now at what is one of the oldest stadiums in the NFL. Ralph Wilson Stadium. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, Danielle Bellini for the beginning of the third quarter. Makes the catch at the seven. Popped up the football. And they are in on Spiller. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The return team, they don't block anybody, but very fortunate to recover their own fumble. First down on the way. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. 
up to the left. Got the completion. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities of what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Here's the first snap after the big play. They're going to get him here for a sack. That's what you call pressure. When everything around the quarterback, they're all at his feet. The offensive linemen are around him. He sees the arms of the defensive linemen all reaching for him. There's nothing he can do but fall to the ground. Ball's picked off. He stacked up at that point. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Dolphins lined up. Bunch formation. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. First and ten. Throws the pass. Catch made. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. He's brought down. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That second down coming up. Split backfield here. Tannehill from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Complete to Wallace. He's brought to a halt. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this, control the tempo of the game, just move the chains. And that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. Tannehill's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Tannehill connects with Hartline. And Alonzo in on the tackle. This will be second down. And now they're in the hurry up. It's Miller trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Gains 13. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. First and goal from the five. Incomplete. That was McKelvin on the coverage. And here we have second down. Offense lines up here. Miller's taking the handoff. Gilmore is going to make the tackle. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. At this point, the medical staff is going to hold him out of this one with what they're still just calling an upper body injury. So, guys, he's out for the day. Back to you. PAT. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Goodwin's got a chance to return this one. The 
Bills bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. The Bills take it from the 33. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Second down coming up. Nickel formation here for the defense. Manual from the gun. Heaving it down the field. And it's incomplete. If you're going to miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Manual from the gun to Williams. Intercepted. And to stop the play right there. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They face first down. And the give to Lamar Miller. In on the tackle. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Miller's handed the football. That's a gain of only a yard. It'll be third down. They're going to the hurry. Tannehill standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. That's an interception. They bring him to the turf. Nice job for the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down here. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Now first and ten. Looks to his left. He's got the catch. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven. But don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Drop back, shotgun formation. As Watkins. Watkins is marked down after a gain of nine. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Over, over, over. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. what they do on this third down situation that defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line the wide receiver shifting around in motion they'll call on the services of cj spiller anytime your team is down you're inside the other team's red zone you look for one of your star players your quarterback wide receiver or running back they need to make a big play here Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front.
defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Manuels back in shotgun formation. They'll turn it over on downs. Well, what the coach is trying to do, he's trying to give his team a lift. They're down. It's fourth and short. They go for it, and there is no lift there. The offense doesn't come through. Now you hope your defense can come out and stop it. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. First down and 10. Underneath and incomplete that time. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Split backfield here. Tannehill's got it in the gun. Looking across the middle and looking underneath. This will go incomplete. Third down on the way. The Dolphins come out with a split backfield. Third down and ten. Tannehill on a foot race to the end zone. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The Dolphins with an extra point try on the way. Inside of the uprights. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. First down, offense reading for the snap. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. First and ten. Launches it down the field. Nice catch. And Grimes is the one who brings him to the ground. First down here after the completion. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Quarter begins with this snap. Manuel gonna take off with it, and he's thrown to the ground. Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused, they don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. Manuel's gonna take it from the gun. Pulls it in. Games 18. Yards after the catch. That is what has been killing this defense all year. You got to make the tackle uh, on these short throws. They didn't. A good job by the receiver. First down coming up. 
They've come out in the dime package. Manuel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. Coming up, second down. Goodwin's going to get set in the slot for the snap. Manuel standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Davis able to swat the pass away. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties, make one of them move, and still throw it deep down the field. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Manuel from the gun. And the incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Dolphins team official. Right now, all they will say is it's an upper body injury and that he will not be returning. Back to you. Nickel formation for the defense here. The Bills have it at the 34. Looking to the right side and throwing. Going to take it home for the touchdown. A Hail Mary pass. I threw a lot of them in my career. I did not hit one. And here today, how about that? They throw the Hail Mary pass. It's completed. Terrific job by the quarterback and the receiver. about special teams good blocking the speed of the returner gets down the field and after that tackle now they have good starting field position it's an empty backfield for Tannehill this time first and goal throws the pass touchdown Dolphins there is no lead in the NFL in state we all know that we have seen tremendous comebacks so when you get the opportunity lay it on them man keep scoring Dolphins for the extra point. Count it. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. it at the nine and starts his return. They come to the line and it's first down. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. And he's taken down. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time the right side of the line collapses and it leads to a sack of the QB. He's setting up here. He's been 
sack four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Manuels back in shotgun formation. Makes the catch in open space. Unstoppable. The 20, the 10, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Wow, how about that? A Hail Mary pass goes for the touchdown. There's so many things. The receiver, terrific job. But probably more importantly, terrible, terrible job by the defense. Throwing now to his left. Brings it into his body. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they uh, fail to get the two. Hey, Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to Hanna. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick return. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick down in the middle of the field. And the tackle is made at the 41. It's first down as they head to the line. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. First and ten. Looking long to Mike Wallace. Almost intercepted that time. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Second down now. Just a quick drop back. Incomplete. Looking underneath that time. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Moreno's going to secure the handoff. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. The Dolphins offensive line, they had a middle mistake here. Why? Because they let somebody go unblocked. It leads to a tackle for a loss of yards on the carry. Well, the best thing we can say about that punt return, well, he didn't fumble the football. The Bills break huddle and start their drive this time from the 29. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Time's running out on this one. Midway through the fourth. Catch made. Brought down right at the 50. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. Manuel's got it in the gun. Gets it out for the completion. Good piece of tackling. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tires. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. The Bills take it from the 38. Going to be a penalty here. Throws to the right. Grimes nearly comes away with the pick on that throw. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. First down at the 33. Throw to the left. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for 
for them the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second and goal from the nine. Touchdown and drawing close. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because any time there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it, touchdown. for the two and they are turned away the Dolphins are back deep waiting for the kick this kick will stay on the ground avoiding a big return and he is tackled at the 44 the Dolphins offense now marches onto the field Now first and ten. Lamar Miller with the carry for a gain of about five. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Offense lines up here. Hand off out of the eye. He is tackled right at the 50. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter, you still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So make them guess what plays you're going to run. This is third down. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. The official whistles this one dead. This is going to be a delay of game. Third down after the penalty. Offense lines up here. Moreno's got it on the handoff. And they advance the ball to the other side of the field. The Bills will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. The Dolphins are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. at the line they're going for it on fourth the defense comes out of the nickel up only a yard anytime it's fourth and short the defense the first thing you've got to be ready for is the quarterback sneak stack everybody inside make them run outside they don't do it the quarterback gets the first down on the sneak first down here after the run the jumbo set on the field Miller's going to take the handoff now. Rams all over the ball carrier. The Bills stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. After running it, it's second down. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. It's Miller. Going to be a tackle for a loss. 
great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you can get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover. What's this one mean to the players?